بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to the third part of introductory sessions to Quranic Arabic recitation with Tajweed rules. Um, what is what are makharij? Makharij are basically articulation points. Um, it's a plural of makharij. Makharij is a singular um, articulation point. So this, the scholar of Tajweed have divided this into five sections. If you see the first one, see it here. So that's the first one. So let me make it right. Okay. That's one um another one. Um there's another one as another one. And the empty space is that's the five different sections. So if you see an, another diagram that's more that's like um a more uh, realistic one. So you can see the tongue here, uh, the nasal passage here. The lips are here, the throat, and the empty space in the throat in the mouth. So we will be discussing that one by one. The first makhraj, as we said, is al-jawf. Uh, al-jawf is the empty space in the empty space in the mouth and the throat. So that's the empty space. This one and this one here. That's the empty space, not the the, the sides of the the mouth and the throat but actually the empty space in the throat that's uh, the first makhraj articulation point is called al -Jawf. the second one is okay you can see that the first one here as well um, you can see that here as well this is the first the empty space similarly here different different uh, representation just in, just in case someone struggled to understand this one so i have done different representation Okay. The second one is al halq as the throat. That's the second part, second articulation point, and it is actually this one, this part. So that's the second articulation point. You can see here as well. Okay, and we will discuss that in uh, detail when we come to the letters of the halq, the, the throat. Okay. The next one, the third one is al lisan, the tongue. The tongue that is this one. You see here we have that's another articulation point so we have letters of uh, pronounced from there and you can see in this diagram as well as the tongue that's the third articulation point the fourth one is um al uh, the two lips two lips that's the um, you can see here you can see here in this diagram that's two lips and similarly here that's the fourth uh, articulation point and the fifth one is al khishum al khishum is the nasal passage so that place here that's uh, that's the fifth articulation point um we will discuss each one in detail when we come to discussing um the letters of those articulation points there are three levels of articulation um reciting the quran three levels the first one is called uh, at-tahqiq that's um uh, when you recite Quran slowly with serenity, that's the best one. Uh, the second one is um, al, al hadar that's very swift and very fast recitation uh, of Quran. With, but you have to uh, observe the Tajweed rules with all of them. But it's just the speed difference. So that is the first one. Tahrik is slow with serenity. The second one is uh, al hadar which is f very fast, quick. The third one is called Al-Tadbir, that is in between the tahqiq and hadr so this is the medium speed the first one is slow uh, and the second one is very fast and the third one is medium with all of them you have to um, observe the quran with its tajweed rules so we can do another classification of the arabic letters um, depending on the two properties which is one is called tafkhim that is heaviness and the other one is called tarqiq that is lightness um, so we have a different letter. We have some letters which have only one property that is either they are heavy, another one or, or light, and some few of them they have both depending on the situation where they're used. So we will be discussing those uh, in detail when we discussing individual letters. This is just a table. Um, just in addition to that is um, no the the, the basic uh, difference in 
light and heavy letters is that when you are uh, when you pronounce light letters uh, normally your mouth remains um, flat or like as if you are start to smile so that's the um, that's to do with uh, light letters but with heavy you don't have that it's different um, we will be discussing that in future but another another advice would be whenever you learning tajweed then you have to look at the teacher's mouth a lot and see how he uh, moves uh, different muscles so you have to look at the mouth a lot okay different tables so th there are two types of errors that we may commit during recitation of the quran um, that's why it's very important that we learn the tajweed rules to avoid both of them uh, the first one is called obvious and clear mistakes that's lahnun jalli ghahir it's uh, one of the example would be for example if you replace a complete one letter with another one so you completely say the wrong uh, thing wrong uh, letter that's and it can be detected by an um, average uh, reciter who knows just basic rules of tajweed and it's dangerous as well some most of the time it changes the meaning of the word the second one is called obscured or hidden mistakes lahnun uh, um, it it is normally detected by a professional reciter. Uh, uh, some most of the time, it's very difficult for average reciter to detect this one. Um, mainly, mostly, it doesn't change the meaning of the of the the letter of the word, but um, we actually deprive a Quran recitation from its actual uh, recitation. So it's very important that we try our best to avoid both of them. So this is the end of the third. Um, this is the end of the third introductory session for Quranic Arabic, Quranic Arabic recitation of the Jewish rules. Uh, from next one, we will be discussing um, individual letters, inshallah. Um, until then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.